Speed round, ha cha cha. So today I'm gonna prove to you all that Nintendo was inadvertently, or maybe advertently, working towards the Nintendo Switch throughout the company's 30 plus year long video game life cycle within three minutes. Ready? Go. In 1985, the Nintendo Entertainment System was released in the United States, helping North America recover from the video game crash of 1983. The NES was extremely successful and incorporated the first of Nintendo's core values, high quality IPs and strict third party curation. During this time, Nintendo had been releasing their game and watch handhelds, showing Nintendo's fascination with portable gaming. However, it wasn't until 1989 with the release of the Game Boy that Nintendo truly began dominating the handheld market. They continued building onto their legacy of high-quality gaming with the US release of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1991. This console expanded the number of buttons on the right side of the controller from 2 to the traditional 4, while also adding trigger buttons on the shoulder. Of course, a major graphical overhaul also defined the console. The Virtual Boy, while a disaster, had to be sacrificed so that development could be focused on Nintendo's next holy grail, the Nintendo 64. This console began an emphasized foray by Nintendo into pushing their major IPs towards 3D console gaming, which proved to be one of their more iconic moments in history. From here, they would almost never look back. Having solidified pretty quickly how to navigate the growing pains of adding an extra dimension to their games, Nintendo moved on from evolving gameplay itself to changing the styles of gameplay. What I mean by this is that by the late 90s and early 2000s, Nintendo's new focus was portability. The GameCube had a handle on it so that you could bring it with you wherever you went, and Nintendo had also continued their stronghold on handheld devices with the Game Boy Advance series. This was followed by the Nintendo DS, again pushing the boundaries of portability with even more of the company's trademark innovation that actually had roots in some of their earliest days with the Game & Watch. The dual screen and touchpad concepts were here to stay, but for now, Nintendo had another trick up their sleeves. Nintendo began playing around with motion control with their massively successful Wii. While Nintendo took a large leap of faith in trying to define this console by something other than portability, the Wii was marketed heavily as a family console, still falling in line with Nintendo's efforts to promote gaming as an activity to be shared with others. By this point, you may have noted a trend. Nintendo has been noticing that their efforts in the handheld sector of their company have definitely been paying off. So, after about 8 million redesigns of the Nintendo DS, we come to the Wii U. The Wii U is an absolute tragedy lost to time and deserves an entire video. One thing I will say is that I wholeheartedly believe that the Wii U was supposed to be the Nintendo Switch, or rather, the Nintendo Switch was the culmination of the Wii U's mistakes. Both of these consoles were the results of everything that came before it. One was just marketed a lot better than the other and given a lot more attention. Let's take a look. Take Nintendo's high quality IPs. Take their innovative design choices. Take the idea of a dual screen console with a touchpad on the bottom screen. Take the idea of this bottom controller having motion controls being integrated into it. Let's put the controls on the side of said touchscreen. Take the idea of a small handheld console for single player use that can also be turned into a larger home console for a more social experience. Which console am I talking about? And yeah, that's a super general comparison, but I stand to believe that these ideas were held in place for a long time and Nintendo wasn't willing to let them flicker out as weakly as they did with my beloved Wii U, and thus, these ideas became the Nintendo Switch. So that's all. That is why I believe the Nintendo Switch, successor to the Wii U, is the peak Nintendo console and the console Nintendo has been working towards the entire time. Thanks to all my patrons, don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll see you all next time.